Hello there everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you back to more of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And uh, last time we finished up that uh, merchant side quest over on Windfall Island, somewhere in that direction, on this big vast sea. And this time, instead of continuing with more side quest stuff and island exploration like I thought about doing, I think I'm going to go ahead and do something more story related this time, just because it feels like it's been a while since I've done something like that. Plus this just feels fun to do for some reason right now. Man, oh, this is too perfect. I love coming to this island at night, because it's just, it's so, it's a sort of pseudo-neon effect, and plus it's raining now, too, or it's, like, really dark, at least. This is, like, the perfect atmosphere for this island to be in. It's just so intimidating. But what you actually want to do, which is kind of makes, it kind of makes me sad to do this, because I just love this island so much, but you're going to need to extinguish it. I just, it's very sad. <laughs> Man. You see that ice arrow flying off like it was the creature ship in Super Metroid up there? Holy cow. Okay, but you gotta hurry once you do this. Well, not really. They give you five minutes to do this. You can probably do it in two minutes, honestly. It's really not that time sensitive. But it's really dark on my TV for some reason. Oh, not a cargo rock. Are you kidding me? Probably should have gotten his uh, golden feather for first, but... It is insanely dark on my TV, I don't know. I mean, I suppose I should assume that it's probably because it's nighttime in the game, and in real life, but, uh, it's normally not this bad. Okay, the storm has subsided, so now I can actually see what I'm doing here. But, uh, the reason that we're actually heading to this island now, uh, you couldn't have done this, obviously, without the fire and ice arrows and stuff, but if you head to the islands marked on your map, uh, those two islands marked on your map there, you won't actually be able to do anything at them until you get certain items from the islands that I'll be doing in this video. Shit. Oh, where the hell- how- what purpose does this ledge serve? Good lord. This place feels more labyrinthine than I remember. It's not too bad. I said you could have done this in like- you could do this in like less than two minutes. I stand by that, I'm just being a jackass about it. But you do need uh, two items, one item for each island, marked on your map there. And those two islands will be one here at Fire Mountain, and then one at Ice Ring Isle, which we have yet to see. And it's actually one of my favorite islands in the game, strangely enough. Is there a cannon shooting at me? I hear a cannon. It's probably the platform over there or something. No, there's a platform on this island. Or on this square. Alright, here we go. And every kid's dream of jumping into a volcano! Oh my god. I just love the theory of jumping into a volcano. I actually wrote a story one time as a kid. It involved me and my cat. Because I had like this weird obsession with my cat Oreo as a kid. I know, very clever name. He was a black and white cat. It's crazy. And I would just like write these stories starring him as the protagonist. And he would be like this awesome cat. Like I remember this one scene where he totally just like killed a polar bear. And it's like, that can't happen. You're, you're so dumb. <laughs> That's the imagination of a child, I tell you. It's a beautiful thing, it really is. Even my, like, sadistic imagination. As sadistic as it can be sometimes, I mean. It's not always sadistic. Dude, ow. <laughs> frickin' Magtails. Magtails are like the frickin' Moe's of this game. The Larry, Curly, and Moe of this game. They're so funny. Yeah, but there was this one scene in the first story that I wrote with, uh, with my cat. Where I would actually, go, where he like jumped into a volcano to like retrieve some gem or something. Oh, power bracelets! I should probably talk about the game here. <laughs> Both arms are now stronger than ever. Press A to grab and lift objects, just like before. But now you can lift big objects, like this big old head here. Ooh, man! It's gotta be tough on the knees there. <laughs> Man, that's so fun. <laughs> I love how you get the little, like, you did something good sound effect for, like, throwing a rock of all things. I mean, sure, it's like the biggest rock in the history of mankind, but the Easter Island. It's like the fat. It's the chubby Easter Island heads. Isn't there an official name for those Easter Island heads? Or at least an official name for Easter Island itself? I don't know. Keep getting sidetracked, though. Anyways, that's that island out of the way. This is gonna be a short video if I do the same- if I do, uh, Ice Ring Isle just as fast as I did this one. Cause that's pretty much all I'm gonna be do- what the- right. Can't use a grappling hook in the boat like that. Dude, oh my god, the cargo rock's going aquatic! Holy crap. It's a water bird. You ain't much for scuba, di scuba diving, you stupid bird. 
Anyways, so next up I'm going to head over to Ice Ring Isle, which is just one square west of Forest Haven here, so I'll meet you there. Oh, it looks like we're encroaching upon Ice Ring Isle here. Jeez. I should probably get the map fish actually for this island because I, I haven't gotten that yet, funnily enough. This being one of my favorite islands. You don't actually pass by it too often, which is kind of sad. Maybe that's why it's one of my favorite islands, just because of the obscurity. Because you know I'm one for the obscurity of things, the mysteriousness. Okay, um... Oh my luck, that freaking fish is going to be on the other side. Of course there's that treasure on the other side too. No, the fish is right here actually. I'm pretty sure I missed the treasure over at Fire, I Fire Mountain too. Uh, one of those like treasure trove treasures. I'll just have to head back and get that. Eventually, towards the end, I have a feeling I'm just going to be missing a bunch of treasure chart treasures. And I'll just have a big montage of clips and stuff going around getting those. So don't worry too much if I miss one or two here and there. I might not even go for this one just out of spite. Ice Ring Isle. It's like one of the most complex charts in the game. This little island here. There's an amazing treasure hidden inside that freezing ring of ice over there. But even if you wanted it and tried to get inside, you just end up frozen solid as soon as you approach the shore. But if you go four squares north and three, three squares... Yeah, he's just telling you how to get the, uh, the fire arrows. That's how you're actually supposed to know to like get the fire and ice arrows before coming to these islands. Is Because the map fish will tell you, oh my god, look at how frozen the water is. This is actually something I kind of want to show, because this is really scary. Like... It's, there's nothing really like this at Fire Mountain. Like it'll just sort of like burn you off the island if you try to step on it. But if you try to step on this island before you do anything, like that's just scary, man. <laughs> that's this. That was so scary. The first time I tried that as a kid, I literally had like nightmares about that. Just because, like, getting frozen solid is one of the most terrifying things I can possibly imagine. But what you actually need to do here, I'm sure you couldn't guess this yourself, is you're gonna need to get your fire arrows ready. Uh, fire... Am I doing it right? Uh... Oh shit, I don't have any magic! What?! <laughs> I ran out of magic? Seriously? Maybe the friction of just these normal arrowheads is enough to thaw it. Alright, do I have any means of replenishing magic? Uh... I'm just gonna have to break down and use the elixir soup, I guess. I can't believe how stupid that is. Oh my god. Whatever. At least to make Link happy. It must feel good to drink that elixir soup in such a cold dank place like this. I really do like this island, though. And not just because I'm Canadian or anything like that. And you've actually got to hit, like, you can barely see it through the mist here, but there's like a dragon head there. You can see it clearly there now. And you got to hit that in order to thaw out the island. And there's actually quite a bit more to this island than there was to Fire Mountain. I'm not entirely sure why that is. <laughs> I guess they just want to milk the ice physics for all they're worth or something. But there should be a treasure chest somewhere around the perimeter here, if my memory serves me well. That's one thing there's not enough of in this game is snow. It's basically this island and that's it. But yeah, here here we go. Man, I I literally went around the whole island. I could have just like gone one centimeter left when I got on the island in the first place and I would have found it. Dude, you, see, no, shit! <laughs> just, that, that was bound to happen eventually. Oh my god. Can you... Please get to the what the f stop that link. I've done that in real life. That hurts like hell. Face planting on ice, especially if you're skiing and then you like fall and you face plant in the snow. It literally feels like your face is scraping on concrete. It doesn't have quite the same effect as if it was actually scraping on concrete, but it's still painful. Okay, now that that's done, we should still have enough time. Yeah, once you actually get the item inside the I, inside the island, I don't think I mentioned this when I got the power bracelets before, but the timer will stop once you get the item, so you don't have to worry about like getting out in time or anything like that. No Super Metroid-esque escape sequence. I'm talking about Super Metroid a lot, considering I haven't even played it in a long time. Mm. Oh wee! <laughs> For all, I, always forget, I always forget about these little ice slide parts where you slide on your bum. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. You can go get that rupee if you want, but uh, I don't think it's really worth the trouble. Five rupees ain't worth it, man. Let's just see if I can run this. Oh, shit. <laughs> Almost. Didn't fall off all the way, anyways. And, oh! Oh, shit! No, man! I'm gonna freeze to death from, like, hypothermia in this water. Alright, let's try this principle in practice. So, it's tilted up there, but I made... Dude, I am so bad at this. I am... Oh, my God. 
This is... See, they had this one ice area in the game. They just had to make it the most pain-in-the-ass thing in the world. Okay, here we go. I got it this time. Yes, okay, perfect. Oh, I almost face-planted there, I think. Man, if I, I'm gonna seriously run out of time if I don't hurry up here, though. Mm. By the way, the reason I'm, like, doing this right now of all times instead of like, going off and doing more side quests and junk, which I will ha do eventually here, because... I don't want to save, like, all the island exploration and everything for, like, the end, because that could... Shit! Are you, are you serious? You guys don't need to see all this, though. Oh, sh 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 Dude! Really? Really? <laughs> you're gonna... You're gonna freeze to death! No! 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 You, I pressed the... I pressed the A button! <laughs> I pressed the freak... Oh my god, I've got one minute to make this. I can still make this if I make all these jumps just perfectly. Shh! That's not perfect! Well... I wonder what happens if I'm in the water when the timer runs out here, because I won't actually technically be on the island or anything. Let's see. I guess we're about to find... I can't believe this. This has never happened to me before, only in recording. I tell ya, shit. There it goes. Oi. No, whoa! No, don't freeze me! Oh my god, the... Oh! Oh! I can't imagine how much that would hurt. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> I know it's like cartoony kind of like freeze, but still, that's, that's, you don't do that. You don't traumatize me like that. Can you? Thank you. Okay. Let's do this right this time, please. Mm. Oh yeah, like I was saying before, uh, the reason I'm doing this now, doing these two islands and getting shit, don't you fall again. No, we're not straddling the banister trying. Okay, let's do this. But the reason I'm getting these two items from these islands before moving on with like other sea exploration junk is because I'm just scared I'm going to run into something that's going to halt my progress if I don't have these two items. I can't think of many instances where these two items will be necessary in sea exploration or anything, but uh, I'm just afraid I'm forgetting something. I can remember at least one where at, like the power braces will be useful and at least one where what we get here will be useful, so... Man, was that so hard now? I've got three and a half minutes here. I never even got here last time. Jeez. And I, I do have to admit that even though I like the outside of the island better than Fire Mountain, I do like the inside of Fire Mountain better than this. But there is something in here to, that kind of fixes that, I guess you could say. Dude, so many keys. At least they're not ice keys. A nice ice keys. Oh no. I'll slide off the slide, please. I think I've done that before, too. It's really stupid. Alright, finally! Holy cow, that took so... <laughs> I'm up to, like, freaking 18 minutes on this recording. This should have been, like, a 10-minute recording. In, out, done. But there's your iron boots, man! These boots are so heavy you can hardly walk. Boy, the wind can't blow you around when you wear them. <laughs> I mean, maybe if you wear them in the ocean, you'll sink to the bottom, too. Sink back down to Hyrule. Who knows? But yeah, in this game, iron boots are actually a C item, or, well, at least like an equip item like this. You don't have to go into the menu when you want to switch them every time. You walk slow as molasses, like it says there, though. And uh, this is the one little redeeming factor of the inside of this island, is that there's sort of a mini dungeon within the mini dungeon, which is really remarkable. And this reminds me of that one area in uh, Galaxy 2, with the green star and, like, Freezy Flake. It's really nice. Uh, do I have, I wonder if I have enough magic left, I wonder if I have enough arrows left for this, holy cow. It's basically just a little monster dungeon here, you don't have to do this because I think you only, you only get like a hundred rupees for it. But it's just a neat little area that you can test your might on, if you so desire. And again, like the timer stops once you, uh, once you get the iron boots, so there's no big rush or anything. Yeah. Yeah, so now that I have these items, I'm not going to continue with the temples and stuff right away. Because, like I said, I don't want to be the... I don't want the last, like, half of this LP to just be pure island exploration or anything. I kind of want to vary it up a little bit. But, um... These items will... They could help a little bit in my progression here, so... I, I don't know if I've explained that, like, th like, three different ways, and probably none of them made any more, any more sense than the other. But, yeah... And here's the big kahuna of the monsters. Here's the dark nut with the buckler. Actually, you know what? I should get a picture of this guy, because, um... I'll make note of this for the Nintendo Gallery. 
Oh shoot, I have three pictures? What do I have three pictures of? Do I, did I... Oh, I guess I have to... Still deposit. I can get Zunari later, what the fuck. Um, but here we go. Oh shit, no! <laughs> run, run! Dude, dude, no, I don't want a picture of your breasts. But not just your breasts, so... Dude, he is running fast! Dude, how? How am I supposed to get a picture of you when you... Dude, this is... Shit. Ow. This is a fail fest right here. You know what? I can always come back and get another picture of this guy or something. But uh, for the Nintendo guy, like I was saying, there's actually three variations of the Dark Nut. There's the Dark Nut, like, the normal ones that you fight that don't have shields. Then there's the ones like this guy who do have shields. And then there's ones, like, much rarer in, that are only in certain places that have capes. Or, like, they have, they have weird helmets or something. I can't remember the exact difference, but... They have something different about them. And you have to get all three... You have to get pictures of all three variations of Dark Nuts in order to complete the Nintendo Gallery. Thankfully, none of them are, like, one-off Dark Nuts that if you miss the picture in, like, a specific battle with them, then you'll miss it forever. So, uh, that's noteworthy. There's your orange ruby, just for the road, I guess. Every rupee counts in this game, I tell ya. Alright, and this should take us, like, completely out of the area, I think, too. Yeah. Sweet. And now we never have to worry about getting that scary, freezy death in this place again. That is so terrifying. I don't know what it is about freezing to death like that, like you do when you, like, touch this island. But something about it is just so off-putting. It's, like, almost like a creepypasta-type death or something. Because, like, if that happened in real life and you just, like, froze there, it would ha who knows how long it would take for someone to find your, like, frozen remains. And, of course, and you, like, wouldn't even decompose because you're just, like, frozen there. Actually, it might decompose faster, I'm not sure. Depends on the situation, I guess. My boat's all the way on the other side of the island, isn't it? Next time, we're probably going to continue with more island exploration, like fairies and whatnot. But, uh, I hope you enjoyed this little outing. So, I know I did. This is probably... Even though it's such a little part, just these two little mini dungeons, it's such a small part of the game, it's really fun to me for some reason. Anyways, thank you everyone for watching. Oh great, it's raining. <laughs> Probably freezing rain too. But this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.